Tonight, New York State Assemblyman Steve Hawley has introduced an impeachment resolution against Governor Andrew Cuomo. Hawley says because the governor refuses to step down from his position amid mounting allegations of misconduct, the state must impeach him. The statement went on to say, quote, the last thing we need is a prolonged political battle over removing the governor when everyday New Yorkers need our help more than ever. So I am hopeful we can move through this impeachment process quickly to get back to the people's work. This weekend, another accuser detailed alleged misconduct from the governor. Anna Liss, director of Monroe County's Department of Planning and Development. Adam Chodak joins us live. Adam, you spoke to Liss. What did you learn? Yeah, just a few minutes ago, John, Anna now works for Monroe County, but from 2013 to 2015, she worked in the governor's office, and she says there were times where there were some unprofessional interactions between the two. She says she didn't think much about it until now, until after she heard the claims from the two other aides out there claiming sexual harassment. She's actually unclear, she says, whether what happened to her is textbook sexual harassment, but she did say it was inappropriate. And she says her story, along with the stories of the other two, show a pattern. And today I asked her why she's coming out now. Here's what she had to say. Everybody was talking about it and, oh, the governor likes you and he thinks you're cute. Um, and years have passed and I realize now that um, I wish that the environment were a little bit different for young women. I, I felt like... Um, a little bit objectified and not seen as a professional person. So again, she's hoping to help change the culture, not just within Governor Cuomo's office, but Albany as a whole. I asked her if she thinks the governor should resign. She said that's not her call to make. But she did say that if he is to resign, he should do so over the nursing home controversy before this. I also asked her if there was a coordinated attack here. She said no. We're going to get more into that in her answer coming up on News 8 at 5. For now, Adam Chodak reporting live from Rochester. John.